It's a time for Pick it from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, we are going to take a close look at the EO Gaming Box Pro. And when it comes to these game systems from a friend from China, especially the Android boxes and system they are releasing, it's just quite interesting in my opinion. There are a lot of different systems out there nowadays, so I just want to check it out. Just see how good they are, how bad they are and what you're going to get. So let's do a quick overview of what's inside the box. And let's start with the show, and what are the specs, etc, etc. Okay, so the EO Box Pro is something completely new, and I mean what new is that they are trying to develop their own kind of brand. It's quite interesting always that we're going to get product like this. So inside the box we're going to get two wireless joysticks, let's start with these. And more like the typical fake PlayStation 2 wireless joysticks. We have another switch over here, they are working on two AAA batteries. Not to forget, the joysticks this time, they don't have more like this slippery joystick, like some good actually grip. The D-pad. It's okay, having one, two, three, four, that's it. Rubbery select start. And the button quality, you can always more like feel the difference with the shoulder buttons. Well, they're okay, okay, they're okay. Not to compare it with the original ones. We're going to get an HDMI cable. Here we're having the power supply. The power supply is more like the 12 volt power supply. Nowadays what we're going to get, it's always kind of weird, they call it the lithium battery charger. Yeah, seriously, that's the, that's the 12 volt I'm always getting with these boxes. Because the boxes are of course 12, 12 volt, if you want to use another different one, you can. But these things are not super bad quality and they have a very long cable. Not to forget the dongle for the two controllers. So basically what you can do, if you're having two of these sets, you can maybe configure this to a four player configuration wireless. So let's do a quick overview of the system itself. So this is the case of getting an Android or TV box. And they're just converting it to a game system. What kind of box they're using, if this is completely something out of the shell or this is just like something they created themselves, this will be always the one million dollar question. But nevertheless, let's take a close look at the device and what you're going to get. So we're going to get an on off switch, so that is unique, yes seriously, that's not so very common with these boxes or game systems. Input for the 12 volts, HDMI out, we're having an AV out for the people who want to go real retro, digital out for the audio or SPIF or how do you call it? SPDIF and you have an Ethernet connection. At the side, we're going to get two USB 2.0 ports, and here having the slot for the TF card. So, this is that's what we're going to get, and I find it quite interesting that we're going to get one dongle, two controllers. This is always more like the question what are you going to get with these boxes? So with nowadays that we're going to get more like these Android boxes that they're just using with AMA lag, and what you're actually going to get is an Android box, remove the SD card. And you get an Android box, and you can still use it like this, but with these boxes, it's just a different story. When putting it up, this is more like the menu, like the Pandora box, Key 7, the Pandora box, Treasure, 3D, a lot of different names come by, but it's more like an interface. What you're going to see is with just a basic interface, they did improve it in some ways. So let's give you a quick explanation and overview what you're going to get. Okay, so let's talk about the interface itself. So the interface is, is for me very familiar and maybe if you have seen more Pandora boxes, you have seen these before. So what you're going to get is more like 3D the game list to the game list and there is no other option. So that's it. That's the only thing that you're going to get. We're going to get the latest of course and the search. So this is a very big improvement in my opinion, but still we're missing out category list. So basically what you can do is with a 3D list, we're going to get more like PlayStation 1, PSP and 64 and they are keep messing it up with the decals of the preview pictures some have actually a movie but it's more like a mix of everything and the two dimensional list and this is more like the gigantic pile of different stuff you're going to get you can already see it's running on MAME or Final Burn Alpha but mostly we're going to get is MAME and Neo Geo maybe there are some lost 16 bit 8 bit games that will happen with some of these things but yeah find them in this pile of games it's just a nightmare in my opinion i really hate this menu if you're familiar to pandora box we don't have a settings menu button no because you need to press select the start in the menu itself so here we can position the usb game position kind of weird but we're having here the eo test game input mapping and we can change a lot of different things out but i must say that when it, you're looking at the menu itself it's very limited especially when you're looking at the new pandora boxes out there 
All right, so next up, let's play a little bit Dreamcast and let's see how this is running. Don't have high hopes, but maybe we can play it. And let's see what we're going to get. Round one. Fight. It's the power of a predator. The power of a predator. Wanted to try and game. A two-dimensional main shmup and the reason why because these things are made for vertical screen so with normal let's say game system we're going to get two black bars but with this it looks horrible stretched so this is something that is just a common problem with these games that they are not let's say putting it in the right express ratio so yeah the express ratio they didn't fix it with the pandora forest Even if I don't know the specifications at this moment making this video, I can already tell you it's not good. If this PlayStation 1 doesn't run perfectly, now nah, I can already tell you the specifications are pretty damn low. Okay, so that makes me very curious what are we going to get with the device. There are no screws, so we're just clicking together. And as you can see over here, we're also having a Wi-Fi dongle or a Wi-Fi Ethernet built inside. That is quite interesting, but we're having three screws that I'm going to remove because I just wanted to see inside what kind of hardware that we're going to get. After removing everything, I came across this problem that I can't remove the cooling element because I wanted to see for you guys what are we going to get beneath the cooling element over here. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the Pandora's Box Forest, or they also call it the EO Gaming Pro Console. So there are a lot of different names for these things and I have seen a lot of these coming by. Sadly we cannot reflash the firmware like with Emu Alec, there is nothing we can do with it so far I know. They are just based on Android Box and they completely reconfigured everything. The controls are okay, just as basic cheap places to knock off wireless controllers are not the best quality but also not the worst ones so yeah nevertheless i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit the little bell become on the big family and i will see you in the next video